to that mine. Okay. Like, let's try to build to that mine oh, first. Let me get my cobblestone. Get your cobblestone. Um, but as I was saying before, you know, I uh, I definitely cherish that Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Dexter. Um, another game that's honorable mention is SmackDown. I don't know which one, and I don't know what, like, this is a series, but I don't know which one specifically, but I know there was a couple for the PlayStation, but it was wrestling. Mm -hmm. Back then, it was WWF. WWF? Yeah, wrestling, like, Worldwide, worldwide Federation. Hmm. World Wrestling Federation, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, World Federation. Um, now it's like WWE. I, I don't really watch wrestling anymore. Yeah. But um, that game was amazing. Me and my little brother would play that game day in, day out. Mm. And they never really had too many legends. So I just took it upon myself to, like, create legends. Like, my some of my favorite characters, oh, uh, people, wrestlers that I grew up with, you know that no longer wrestled even back then mm -hmm. were like the ultimate warrior and things like that so i would like pretty much mimic them with the created player yeah and come out they would come out with their theme song and all that stuff so i would really put a lot of stats and a lot of energy into making these uh legendary characters that i cherish so much as when i was l much much more you know little mm. and stuff like that so smackdown was awesome and i definitely love that game there's another game that was more of a platformer um maximo ghost and glory it was like a medieval type of game like you're just this medieval dude and there's a lot of like it was like a really really cartoony version of Elder Scrolls mm -hmm. uh, but not open world it was a linear type of game okay. but it was really cool I'm actually gonna create some stairs down here instead and then I oh, oh, oh I don't want to break too much of this because there's water oh there's actually stairs right here all right so let's just I'm just gonna break this stuff away maybe not I would say be careful because you don't want the water to... No, 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 no. The water's not going to come out, but... Oh, <laughs> I'm breaking my legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have to... Let me see. Um... Oh. All right, see that? That's cool. All right, yeah, so Maximo was kind of like an Elder Scrolls type of game. Like, that's the only thing I could compare it to. It was like a Crash Bandicoot meets Elder Scrolls mm -hmm. without the um, the open world sandbox. It was a linear game, so you beat a certain mission, you go on to the next level, you know? Yeah. Um... So yeah, th that was definitely uh, one of my favorite games that I can remember. Another game was Siphon Filter. It was really like uh, like a James Bond type of game. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of espionage and secret and agent type stuff, mm -hmm. you know. And then, do you remember Tekken 4? Yes. And Tekken Tag? Tekken Tag was like where you can just tag in your other opponent and stuff. It was really cool. I really liked it. Um, I'm kind of debating whether to block this up. But can you, like, what was, um, did you, you played Tekken Tag on PlayStation 2, right? I think so, yeah. I don't remember which. I know I played uh, Tekken on PlayStation 2, but I don't remember which one it was. Like, which one had like and I, I mentioned this last time but do you remember which one had like the bowling as like a part of it maybe it was Tekken Tag okay then I play I know I'll for sure I played that one because I know I used to play Tekken Tag with like my family all the time or at least the, whichever one 
had the bowling and I used to play um because the bowling was my favorite so I was really good at it um and I like to play um fighting as well like traditional way to actual play actually play the game but I definitely loved the bowling because I did have people who were better at me at the rest of the game and I was really good at the bowling so I like to play that mostly against everyone because <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was good at it yeah, I mean, uh, that's why, it, you know, it made my honorable mention. And so for the top 10 list, you know, I, I kind of just went through the games that couldn't just, they couldn't make it because they just, for me, weren't as memorable or uh, time consuming as my top 10 list. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Coming at number 10, a game called Freedom Fighters. Now, this game is not a big blockbuster game like a God, uh, God of War or anything like that, but this game, Freedom Fighters, was a four-play game. It, you know, it really brought a lot of um, that teamwork into a game. And I really liked it. Um, not the best of like graphics or anything like that, but it was just one of those games. Oh, I, I just need some cobblestone to like, kind of, like yeah, bring it all away. Oh, I have a bunch. Yeah, so let's let's start bringing it towards that area. Um. Okay. Where do you want me to put it down? Like? So yeah, like continuing these two wall areas, and then bring it all the way if you can. To this area right here, so we can kind of just. Do you want me to start it like right here? Yeah, we can. Like that. Yeah, and then kind of just backing up. Oh no, like don't go against this wall. Just kind of go straight, so you don't have to use so much. Right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And then just kind of yeah, it's gonna be like kind of diagonal from each other because. You're kind of going from a straight line in that angle. Okay. Yeah. Listen, doggy, you gotta move. Come this way. I think it's good. Yeah, but I can't put it down. And then while you're doing that, let me kind of come down here and start mining things a little bit better. <gasps> but yeah, this game, uh, Fighting for, uh, no, not Fighting Force. That's, uh, <laughs> I think that was PlayStation. <laughs> Uh, Freedom Fighters. Freedom Fighters was just an excellent game, and I would it. it I'm kind of judging these games on what games took up a lot of my time in the time that I played those games. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's number ten, and it was four player. It was like really cool. Um, when you didn't play four player, you had um, a squad, so you had three people with you, mm -hmm. and then you, it, this is like the first game that I can remember that you can command your squad, so you'd be like, you go over there, you stay right here, you shoot. That's cool. Like, yeah, so if, even if you wasn't playing with people, yeah, it was kind of like you was, like if you was just playing by yourself, the squad that you was with. Oh, this is not even a mine, babe. Where is it? <laughs> it's... Uh, it's like past this. I'm gonna have to like... That's I, okay. I can, um... Cause we could just build a wall over here. Look, 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 hold on, hold on. I can, um, I can mine through. I need to go get more cobblestone for sure. And, and can you make me another axe? <laughs> oh, this is nice. You like it? Yes. Thank this you. is exactly what we have to basically like build the walls up. But yeah, that's that's exactly that's oh, exactly it. Awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good right. job. You want to grab those cows? Cows? Yeah, there's two cows over there. And do what with them? Kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> we can have more food. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got a cow tipper trophy. You been had that. You've been killing cows since we started. I no. Know. I'm bad. 
You hear the cows? They're like, no. I really feel sad for killing them. <laughs> we need their leather and stuff. We yeah. need better armor. I know, we do. <laughs> so, yeah, um, number 10. Uh, freedom Fighters. Yes. All right. Uh, number nine is The Warriors. The Warriors game made by Rockstar. Now, eventually, I don't know what video I will tell you my top 10 favorite movies of all time. But I, I probably have to let the cat out the bag right now to sell, tell you the significance of this number nine. My number one favorite movie is The Warriors. Um, it came out in 1979. It's just a great movie. I, I like that movie. Um, and this movie right here, I mean, this game, this game is not exactly the same feeling as the movie. All right, we probably have to go to bed. Is it nighttime? It's, yeah, it, it's becoming nighttime very quick. So I'm going to block ourselves in. I think we should go to sleep, but like press the wake up button. Oh, there's a wake-up wake button? Faster, yeah, because I feel like maybe we're not waking up as early as we could be waking up at. Gotcha, gotcha. We just put this on in here. I'm going to try to make some new weapons when we get up. Yes, and I need more pickaxes. Right, you did tell me that. L2 is to wake up, so okay. maybe we should try waking up now. And hopefully we have more time. I'm gonna cook some food and try to make some more weapons and see right. out with the cobblestone. Oh wait, 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 can you make me an axe real quick? Oh yeah, let me go do that. So I can just go and pick stuff. But yeah, number nine, the Warriors. Um, it pretty much copied the story of the 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 movie and it was awesome. Playing the movie, it was multiplayer. Um, you got to play some of the uh, memorable characters from the Warriors uh, movie. That was that was amazing, especially if you're playing your favorite movie of all time. Um, so just put it in the video game form. It just deserves to be on my top ten list. So that's that's pretty much the reason for that. Number eight is Metal Gear Solid Two: Sons of Liberty. Mm -hmm. Um, when I got PlayStation 2 for Christmas, I think I got it the same year that it came out, but I got it mm. in Christmas. Oh, it's a, oh, it, uh, the axe is up here. Mm -hmm. How many? Uh, I just made you one for now. Do you want me to make another one? Please. So when I got PlayStation 2 for Christmas, mm. that was the first game I got. And that just, you, you always remember the first game you have, like, you know, whether it's good or not. It was actually a good game, but I think I felt, I think I was too young for that game. <laughs> what I mean by that is, it was really confusing, <laughs> and I couldn't, I couldn't beat it. I never actually beat the game at all. Oh. Yeah, actually the only Metal Gear that I've ever beat was Metal Gear 5. And I think it's just one of those maturity things, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I didn't really like sneaking when I was younger. Like I, I liked the, just the the running gun if I was playing the you know type of game like that. Or so I never really got it, and it was just like a lot of sneaking where I just didn't want to sneak too too much anymore, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but because it was my first game for PlayStation Two. It's definitely on my top 10 list, you know, so that's that is number eight number seven Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, I thought Battlefront 1 was very great, but Bar Battlefront 2 they fleshed out all the you know the flaws if you will and all the things that made the game like ah. <laughs> This game, like, fleshed it out even more. You know, it's still like that. Yeah, so Star Wars Battlefront 2 was an excellent game. This was another multiplayer game where it really felt like you was part of... I don't even know if it was the Clone Wars or not. I don't, I'm not sure 
where it was at. Do you know? Was it Clone Wars? I don't remember. But I know that whatever war it was, you felt like you was in that <laughs> war. And if you died, like, you just spawned as something else. Like, yeah. someone else or whatever. And if you really... It was kind of like, um, you know how Call of Duty had those kill streaks. Well, Call of Duty has kill streaks. Mm -hmm. And when you um, kill X amount of opponents, you get rewards for that. Yeah. We should go to bed. But I'm cooking. Oh, we, <laughs> we, we do. <laughs> we do not want to burn down our house. No. Um, yeah. So <laughs> that thing's cooking pretty good. Yeah. One. If you eat one of these cooked things, you see how you only have four food things in your life. Yeah. You eat one, and it brings you up like four of them. Just one of them. I think I have some cooked food in there if you want to eat it. Oh, okay. Nah, I'm um, good. I'll, I'll eat this raw stuff for now. That's cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> the cooked pork chop is a little pale. Mmm. Maybe. What is that? Medium? Well? I was like, where? <laughs> I'm just eating it raw. But, uh, yeah. So, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is my number seven because it was just it felt like you was in one of those wars and it felt really good and then, oh the kill streaks like i said so when you kill uh multiple people in that game you got to be like luke skywalker or whatever like i know that they just came out with a new star wars battlefront for the playstation 4 and xbox one and i hear that it's pretty good it's you know mm -hmm. it's not this you know the same form right as um uh, you know, part, part two. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that was me because I was trying to go to sleep. I just said you can only sleep at night, so it must be daytime now. Oh, it must be. That means it's time to go to work. Yay. That, that's some stuff. Imagine, like, you're like, man, I'm waiting for you to go to sleep, and you're like, I'm cooking. <laughs> and then it ends up being morning time, and you're like, oh, dang, I got to go to work now. <laughs> I'll be so mad. I know you would be. I would be mad too. I love sleep. <laughs> I would be mad at myself. Like, why did I have to cook right now? Um. So, are you going to put some more cobblestone to build up these walls? Yeah, I was trying to cook this egg, but I guess it doesn't work that way. So, I'm coming out with the cobblestone. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Let me start to make my way over to that place. Alright. Putting all the cooked food in the inventory. Yeah, so Star Wars Battlefront 2, number seven. Yes. Number six is another game that took up a lot of my time. Actually, I had another game in there, and this game was brought up to me, and I was like, oh my goodness. My little brother was like, are you, are you serious? You're not going to put this in there? And I had to put it number six. Number six is Def Jam Fight for New York. It features all like of the Def Jam rappers that were in Def Jam at that time, and it was awesome playing as these characters. Like you know, it was ludicrous. Oh my goodness. Uh. Uh. Block that up. Can you help? Um. Oh, you got it. Yeah. I. I, I okay. Yeah. I'm good. I just need uh to get up out of here. That's not ours. Oh my goodness. Did he eat it? I want this pork chop. This is like... Oh. You have to be careful. I know. It's not ours either. Oh, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, you're trying to find, like, with dog? Yeah, I'm like, getting a little confused here. But that one was ours. I had to push him off the wall because... And now you seem to stay there. I'm trying to do some work for you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But yeah, Def Jam Fight for New York was an excellent game, and it is well deserved to be on this list for my my personal top ten list. Um, like you had what I think you got to play with Ludacris. Um, what is this? Uh, 
it was so many rappers like yeah. Ludacris, DMX. I don't think he was in Fight for New York though. Um, I'm trying to remember all the characters. Uh, Method Man, Red Man. So there was a there was a couple characters in there that I I definitely. You know, I was listening to their music and then I'd play with them and, you know, it'd be like a fighting game, like <laughs> almost like Tekken. But then you got to create your own player. That's and that was fun. awesome. I would always play, you know, create myself or something like that. You know, I'd create Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, it's really cool. Like, you know, so that definitely is in my top 10 list coming at number six. And number five. Um, number five is a game that has a lot of, um, what would you say? Like maybe, not hype, more like controversy. Mm -hmm. Controversy around it. It's called Manhunt. Oh, yeah. It's just a unique game that um, I probably have to revisit in another um, yeah, episode, definitely. yes. Um, but yeah, that 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 game is one of my favorites, and that's pretty much what I have to say about that one. <laughs> yeah. And, and if anyone that knows what Manhunt is, you you uh, understand. can understand um, why I'm kind of just vague about that game. But Manhunt is one of my favorites it's in my top five. Okay. And number four, Grand Theft Auto 3. Grand Theft Auto 3 was amazing. Oh, we have to go back. Yeah, I built a huge wall, so you want to walk in between it. I went around it, more in the house the other way, but... Cool. No, I'm in. I'm in, in between. Okay. Right now. And I'll block it up. All right, let's go to bed. Yeah, so Grand Theft Auto 3, amazing game. Um, it was pretty much the launch and change. It, it revolutionized, you know, what, what we call open world sandboxes. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that feeling that you know, like the feeling that you have to do the mission and then, okay, you're done. Now go to the next mission. Mm -hmm. This was all by choice. You didn't have to do any missions at all if you didn't want to. You can just go out and do whatever you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So really that, I mean, I know Grand Theft Auto 1 was like that, but it was top-down view. It looked really old school, even on the PlayStation the first PlayStation. Yeah. So this one was really, it was fleshed out. It was 3D. You know, it was one of those games that, you know, is just always in, embedded in my in my memory bank here. Yeah. So, yeah. Grand Theft Auto 3 coming in at number four. Number three is one of my all-time favorites. I'll tell you this. If PlayStation Online, and I will be getting an Xbox One soon as well, um, if any of these systems feature this game, I will get this game again, download this game, and I will play it on my channel. Um, NBA 2, uh, no, <laughs> I was about to say NBA 2K. <laughs> no, 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 no. My number three is NBA Street Volume 2. It is a cartoony take on basketball, but it's using some of our, you know, it, it, like where basketball really comes from. A lot of the um, basketball players started from the street level, mm -hmm. obviously. And, you know, it's still known today, like if, if, if you really want to play a game of basketball, you have to go to Rucker Park in New York. Right. Rucker Park is in NBA Street Volume 2. So this game is just has a lot of history around it. But then they add all the NBA players. Mm -hmm. And they just add that cartoony element that's just so much needed. You know? 
Um, and it's just a wonderful thing. Oh, you can come up this way, yeah. I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have to flesh this out a little bit more. And yeah, we can, pre we have to pretty much build a wall on this side so we don't have to get flanked. On this side right here? Pre yeah, like we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break a lot of this off. Yeah, so NBA Street, many hours were played into this game. I, I just poured a lot of game, a lot of time into this game. This is my favorite game. I'm gonna be, this, ex this, this conversation has made me excited <laughs> just to scan PlayStation Store mm -hmm. to see if it's on there. Maybe it's on there. I'll check every day. <laughs> you know, because this game was definitely one of my favorite games. Mm -hmm. And that's number three. Number two is Grand Theft Auto Vice City. It was everything and more what was uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. Mm -hmm. It was based in the 80s, so it had that 80s appeal. Um, it had all the 80s soundtrack, so it had the... Uh, all the 80s music and 80s, you know, uh, clothing and everything. Mm -hmm. It's just straight 80s, you know, all thrown in your face. Right. And it was awesome. Um, it was the first time that Grand Theft Auto introduced um, motorcycles. So motorcycles are really cool. I'm going to break down this tree right here. But yeah, that game was amazing, amazing, amazing. And it was just a, a complete improvement of um, Grand Theft Auto 3. Mm -hmm. And then coming in at number one, my all time favorite game. And there really is no contender other than this game here is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This is arguably, and this will be another conversation, but this is arguably the greatest Grand Theft Auto of all time. Mm -hmm. um, I would say Grand Theft Auto, the new one, but uh, five, Grand Theft Auto five might be slightly better because they have that online aspect. Right. But other than that, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. What are you, are you trying to get hit by my pet pickaxe? I mean, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that game is number one. Um, for those who know about it, it's obvious that's why it's number one. But briefly tell you that it was probably at its time the biggest sandbox ever created. Um, you could like. It was more of RPG. You can like, you can get fat in that game. <laughs> if you eat, you get fat. If you work out, you get muscular. Mm -hmm. You can learn different fighting styles. So you can learn boxing, kung fu. Yeah. So imagine like you're this character from the street doing like Jackie Chan moves or boxing or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or you, it, you know what I mean? So it was just really one of those games that will always be embedded into my memory bank as the greatest PlayStation 2 game ever created. Mm -hmm. And that is my top 10 list right there. Into the comments, um, your favorite top 10, like just in honor of this PlayStation 2 from 2000 to 2016, where were you? And what games were in your top 10? What games took up most of your time? You know, um, until then, please like and subscribe. And I am Dookie. And this is Dookie's DS. And we'll see you in the next episode.